I just wanted to let you guys know that my online chocolate shop is now carrying dark chocolate truffles with the most delicious whipped dark chocolate ganache filling. They're so good, oh my gosh. They're only available for a limited time and we do ship internationally, so if you would like a box, definitely check out the link in the description box down below. Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're making cupcakes to celebrate Avengers Infinity War, which is coming out super, super soon. If you guys are excited, definitely let me know in the comments down below and tell me like who your favorite character is. So today we are making nine cupcakes based on some characters. To be completely honest with you guys, I have not seen the Avengers movie. I'm useless, I know. I'm, like, I'm so behind in seeing everything. Um, but I knew, or I thought, or I hoped that a lot of you guys would be interested in this. So I wanted to make these, make these for you because I thought it'd be so much fun. Um, when I was younger, like in high school, I loved making cupcakes to like look like certain people. That was like my thing. And I made them, I did a, oh god, I did a project on Conrad Black and I made Conrad Black cupcakes for the entire class. So I figured that scale to be, could be put to use today for a much better use and um, make these really, really cute cupcakes. So this video is actually also in um, collaboration with my lovely friend Chris from the Rubard Soul. I've collaborated with him I think a couple times already and I'm sure you all of you know who he is. But if you guys don't know, he has a mental health channel here on YouTube and he's so so wonderful and he gives really really good solid advice. And he's actually doing um, a video today that is related to the Avengers in that it's something about, let me check my phone to make sure I am giving it, um, I'm like explaining it the right way. Um, so it's called The Hero Story, which is basically taking a story of a traumatic experience or rough time you had, um, and instead of using it to fuel like depression or anxiety, you are using it as a story, um, you retell it as a story of triumph and perseverance. So as somebody who has struggled a lot with anxiety in the past as well, I think that it is a wonderful way to look at things that have happened to you in your life, and it definitely has a lot to do with like a hero kind of theme. So, anyways, definitely go check out his channel. I'll have his video linked in the cards here and at the end of the video and down below. So go check it out after you watch this one. And um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna make the Hulk. All you need is some green buttercream to make his face. And I got some black buttercream, popped it into a piping bag, fitted with a round piping tip, and it just made his hair, his eyes, his eyebrows, and then used some white buttercream for his mouth. Then to make the Captain America cupcake, this was so easy. Um, I just popped some red, white, and blue buttercream into piping bags fitted with round piping tips and just piped the rings directly onto the cupcake and, and then drew a star with some more white buttercream. Then to make Black Widow, I got some beige buttercream and used that as the base and then got some red buttercream to make her hair and lipstick. And then some black buttercream for the eyes. I think this is so cute, oh my gosh. <laughs> For Spider-Man, I just covered the entire base of the cupcake with some red buttercream and then drew a little star pattern with some black buttercream and then created his eyes and then created the web in between the little lines, which is a really, really easy way to make sure you get like a perfect web pattern. And also apparently people think that Wolverine may appear, but there's like questions about it. I'm not sure, but I thought I'd include this fun fact. So I went to UBC, which is University of British Columbia, and um, they actually filmed Wolverine there. So I stood outside in the cold for like half an hour trying to see Hugh Jackman. I didn't see him, but um, I, I almost did. So if you guys see um, in the movie, there's like this tall building and it's like concrete and there's lots of little square dark windows. That was actually one of my classroom buildings. So yeah. Then for the Black Panther pancake, I just, pancake, what, cupcake? I, um, I covered the entire base of the cupcake with black buttercream and then I piped on the Black Panther, I guess is it the logo or the face or something like that, with white buttercream. And this, I'm awful actually at drawing, so you guys are seeing that firsthand right now, but I tried my best. I think you can tell it's the Black Panther. Hopefully you guys are more talented at this than I am. <laughs> Then for Iron Man, I just covered the entire base of the cupcake with some red buttercream and then got some like yellow buttercream and drew his face and then just got some blue buttercream for the eyes. Super simple, but I love this. And then for Gamora, is that how you pronounce it? Oh my gosh, I feel like such 
I feel like such a poser right now making this video. Um, but I covered the entire base of the cupcake with some green buttercream. And then for her ombre hair, I started with black and then blue, then purple and pink. And I just kind of like spread it out together and made it ombre. And then used some black buttercream for her eyes and some white buttercream for her mouth. Then for Baby Groot, this was so much fun to make. Um, the base of the cupcake, I just used brown. And then I got some beige buttercream and popped it into a piping tip that is for grass. So it's called like a grass piping tip. And um, it has a bunch of holes at the tip. And then I just piped up and down to create like the texture that Groot is. I think it's so cool. Um, and then just got did some eyes and some little leaves as well. I think this is so cute. And then for Rocket Raccoon, I made the base with some black, with some brown buttercream, and then used some white buttercream to create his little features, and some black to create his eyes and nose. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. If I miss any characters or if I didn't do a character that you wish I had done, let me know in the comment section down below and I might do like a quick little like Instagram tutorial if you'd like to see it of that character. I had like a hard time choosing. I'm like, which ones are the best? I don't know. But obviously I needed to do Rocket Raccoon because I mean like animals. Animals are so cute. And I think it's like my favorite one. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you get notified when I post my next video because I upload five days a week. Tomorrow I am posting um, actually a vlog, which I very rarely, very rarely do, but it's gonna be a vlog of my first week with my new puppy at my place. And her name is Treacle and she is a tiny, the tiniest little Pomeranian. Oh my gosh. So if you wanna see how that week was like, it has been a whirlwind, I am so tired. If you see a little mark on my cheek, it's because she's into biting and she's been my <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, please be nice. Please don't give me hate in the comments um, for not being informed with the movie, but trying to do cupcakes anyways. Thank you so much. All right, <laughs> I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>